Welcome back to my channel. It's fall, y'all, and I'm super excited to open my next Natalie Attire. I did not peek. No idea again what is in there. I did offer feedback this time, so I'm hoping it's some cool fall colors and some cool fall clothes, but there's no telling. I am doing my unboxing in my favorite tank. As I told you in my first video, Beachbody is one of my obsessions and fitness is my other. So I thought I'd do my unboxing today in my workout clothes, keeping it real with y'all. So let's see what's in my box, shall we? All right, let's see what's in the box, shall we? All right, this is a little bit bigger. You know, I just opened a Stitch Fix, so we're gonna kinda compare. We're gonna kinda do a comparison of the boxes. My last Stitch Fix was a tiny bit of a disappointment. I don't think I'm gonna keep anything, so we're gonna hope this goes better. All right, here's my bundle fundle. All right, so you can see the colors. Looks like there's fall colors. I do see a pair of jeans, but I'm already concerned that they have holes in them. But they look cute. And they're even in my size. But I can't do distress and holes in them for work. And my wardrobe has to be school appropriate, which is work appropriate and weekend appropriate because I don't need a wardrobe for the weekend and a wardrobe for during the week. So, let's open and see what's in it, shall we? All right, Natalie Tire, just to give you an idea, Natalie Tire is very similar to Stitch Fix. Um, same type, I think you get five items, you get a percentage off if you keep everything. Same styling fee. I am looking to try some fa a fashion box. I went ahead and already put a profile in. That's a little bit different. You go to the app, you pick out, pick out your five pieces, and you kind of get a sneak peek of what you're getting. I saw my five pieces. I wasn't a fan, so I asked for another redo. So we'll see. Also looking at mix and match box. I'm working with the stylist on that. So both of those, stay tuned for both of those. By the way, subscribe, like, comment. I'd love it if you did it. Okay, so first piece, a shell. That looks really cool. I kind of like that. Looks like it'll go under anything. I also like this kind of hem at the bottom because it kind of goes cute with jeans or whatever. You can kind of wear it a little bit shorter. I like that a lot. A little structure. All right, a sweater. Looks like a sweater, a loose sweater like those colors, very simple. Be a little up close. A little thin, dare I say flimsy a little bit on the material, not sure if it's gonna hold up. I'm a wash and go gal, so looks like this might have to go on the gentle cycle, which I don't even know how to use. All right, I see some plaid. I like plaid. Little plaid, silver buttons, a little western. I know I live in Texas, and I know it's a misconception that we wear boots all the time, but it looks a little too Western for me. I am a city gal living in Texas. Not quite sure what I think of the short sleeves. I like the long sleeves because if I want to roll them up, I can. The back, so it's navy and tans. All right, and the jeans. I will tell you brands when I try on. Velvet Heart Denim. I don't know if I can get my hips in these. <laughs> these are a 26. I tried on 27s from Stitch Fix. They had a little give, but they fit, they fit pretty well. These are 26s, Velvet Heart Denim. I can tell you already, I can't do distressed. I did put that on my profile, I'm 99% sure. They're a mid-rise, skinny ankle, if they didn't have the distress and they fit, they would be a keeper. All right, I know this doesn't look like I got any jewelry, which is, I think, the first box that I didn't get any. I'm checking. Nope. All right. So my stylist, Jessie, um, Cardi's premium collection. Oh, I'm sorry. She liked, I liked the Cardi's, but it was too long. So, it's hard to read. So, I put this black combo for you. I hope the length is better. 
all tops, and we did jeans. P.S. The black yellow top also looks cute over any white button up top and blue jean. I like the jeans in the pick. Pretty cute. All right, guys, I'm going to try on y'all. See you in a second. All right, y'all. This Texas gal doesn't even own any cowgirl, cowgirl boots. This plaid reminds me of some serious country. And I've tied it up. I do like the silver coated buttons. And these jeans, you know that commercial where they have to lay down and get the jeans on? Well, I got them on. And actually, after I put them on, I really do like the fit. They're a stretch. So here's the jeans. If they didn't have the distressing, I would probably keep them. Little tight on the bottom of the leg, but with some boots and some booties, not cowgirl boots, but some other boots, some city girl boots, they would be a good go-to. Let me check price real quick because I didn't check price. Uh -oh. Aha, found. All right, these jeans, velvet, velvet D&O denim. Velvet and Dino, $69, not bad, not bad. This shirt, plaid, there it is, $49, plaid. Um, I'd like some sleeves, I think. And not sure what else would make it a little bit more appealing. But plaid, I like plaid, I've got all colors of plaids, but some sleeves. All right, let me try something else on. All right, outfit number two. To leave the house, I would put a tank top underneath it, but I wanted to do a quick change. All right, I right. actually like it. It's casual enough for anything, for leggings, for pants, for jeans, for anything. The back has a little bit of a, like a cut split in it. I do have a similar Old Navy sweater that I love that has a split all the way down the back that I really like. These are colors that I wear every day. So I'm a fan of that. Looks good with jeans. It's almost like that relaxed sweater, but a slouchy cardigan feel. So it's got everything going for it. All right. I would put a tank on before I left the house. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, let me give you price. Price on this V-neck sweater top, $34 thinking I'm about to add it to my collection just because I think I can wear it with anything I have. All right, that's a good price, guys. Let's try something else on. All right, I forgot to tell you that V-neck sweater was a Chris long sleeve V-neck sweater for 34, okay? All right, this is the last set. I didn't t realize that it had a matching, the shell had a matching cardigan. Didn't realize, didn't know that they were still around. I feel like I'm maybe more of a modern gal, and this may be more of a traditional. I'd like to think I'm not quite as traditional, but there's the shell. There's the cardigan that goes with it. I think it's a set. It is a Cielo long sleeve cardigan, and the little top underneath, a round neck sweater top Cielo. 29 and 24. I gotta say those prices are great again. My stylist does an awesome job on picking things that I can afford on a teacher budget. I'm gonna tell you, these jeans though, if they didn't have the distress, I like the side profile. I like what 80 Day Obsession gave me. And so I do like the fit. So if you're looking for a distressed, figure flattering mid-rise, these are for you guys. All right, so that was try-ons today. Uh, if you want to see the shell with that, it's a little snug, but here's the shell without the cardigan top. Okay, little snug. I think it's a, let's check the size really quick. It's a small, and I asked for a small. A little snug. That's when I always say I'm in between sometimes. It is a little difficult fit, but I'm going to say the small in the actual cardigan is good. Now, if you took this cardigan and you put a gray shell underneath or a black, um, strappy cardigan some, or strappy top or something with a little bit of style underneath would be a cute set and good to go. All right, so that's my Natalie attire try on today. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love if you subscribe because I don't plan on stopping these videos anytime soon. So I had fun again. 
And I love doing the surprise boxes because I never know what I'm gonna get. Well, thanks for stopping by, y'all. It's been fun.